Welcome back to Chetting Lichens Horror Party Massacre. So glad you could join us. Last week, we did a top five list. Top five, top five of the most sympathetic characters in horror movies. This week, we are doing the top five most despicable characters. The ones we just love to hate. No, not even the ones we love to hate. The ones we just hate, 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 hate. Can't fucking stand them. <laughs> She's going to give five. I'm going to give five. We're going to do a five and five and four and four and three and three, etc., etc. I don't know what she put on her list. She don't know what I put on my list. And I can't wait. I am so excited for this. I am so excited. I think there may be some arguing on this one. Because if we are free to debate, or argue, or fight, or get put in chokeholds, or stared at meanly. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with it and stop bullshitting around. Number five. Because I had to look at my list because I wrote them all down so to try to see which is the, the least... The lesser of the evils? Yes. Cooper from Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> Bigot. Mm -hmm. Racist. Mm -hmm. Bossy. Mm -hmm. Uncaring. Mm -hmm. Only cared about himself. Selfish. Bastard. Fuck you, Cooper. You can be boss. Down and down there. Where? Down there. Yeah. I, I won't debate you on that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. My number five happens to be. Fucking forgot already. I gotta look at my list. We have a lot we don't like, so. Okay. In a follow up from last week, my number five is Vic. From Friday the 13th, Part 5, New Beginning. You son of a bitch. All that Joey wanted to do is learn how to chop fucking wood, give you a fucking chocolate bar. It's a chocolate bar. Eat the fucking chocolate, you grouchy son of a bitch. You ain't gotta fucking chop someone's arm off in the back of the fucking head. He just wanted to give you a chocolate bar. I think you're wrong. Dead wrong. I think that's what he says. Maybe. Maybe not. This costume is a way of life. Trivia. Trivia. The guy that played Vic played Suicide in Return of the Living Dead. A way of life. He's still a dick. Even in Return of the Living Dead, too, or Return of the Living Dead, he was a dick. Kind of. No, he was a dick. He did. Uh, sacrifice himself with Tar Man to protect the girls. He didn't really sacrifice himself. Yes, he, he didn't did. know what the fuck was going on. He, 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 he went and seen the girl or heard her screaming. He pulled back the curtain. There's a Tar Man. Bites his fucking head off. We're not talking about Return of the Living Dead. We're talking about Vic. He's a dick. Number four is going to be Patricia Gardner. From Poltergeist 3. Don't like her. I don't like this actress in any other movie either because she plays stuck up in everything I've ever seen her in. She wanted to, him to, Tom Skerritt, to forget about Carol Ann. She ain't our kid. She's your sister's psychotic kid. Fuck you, Karen Allen. Is that what Fuck she you. said? Fuck you. Yep. See, I've only seen Poltergeist 3 like one time, so I can't really argue or make any any kind of complaints on that one. I, I seen it one time long, long, long ago. Did not like what I seen, so I just never went back to it. And Tom Skerritt basically looked at her and said, fuck you, lady, I'm going out to get my niece. My number four, <laughs> shit you not, my number four is Cooper from any version of Night of the Living Dead. Same reasons that she gave. He was a dick in the original. He was a dick in Tom Savini's version. And in the uh, Roger Connors remake or reimagining of the movie called Rebirth, he was a fucking homophobe. So, fuck that guy. Yep. He was a homophobe because in Roger Connors version, 
Judith was actually played by a man who was gay. So, fuck that guy. And that was an amazing movie. I love that movie. I love that movie more than... More than Night of the Living Dead. Which Night of the Living... No, what, huh? You're, you're gonna... We're gonna fight. I, I love Dawn of the Dead. Or not Dawn of the Dead. Good Lord. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead is fine. Day of the Dead's fine. <coughs> fine. But Night of the Living Dead, I like Rebirth better. I like it better. I enjoyed it better. I smiled more. I liked the characters more. I associated myself with the characters. I liked it more. It's but a that's, good... It's that's, a, but that's a different video. That's not what we're here to discuss today. But, yeah, she's got a good point. Can't fight on that. We'll have to fight on that on another video, because that's coming. Number three. Alice Hardy. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. You can't hate her. Oh, Wh yes, I can. Why? She killed Jason Voorhees in front of her son. She killed Mrs. Voorhees in front of her son. So, Miss Voorhees was trying to kill her and killed all her friends. She deserved to fucking die. Yeah, she's a sympathetic character, but she was a bitch, too. Alice fucking Hardy. See, I just can't argue here. Help me out, guys. My number three, Danny Lloyd from The Shining. Which one? Both. That motherfucker. That was fucking retarded. His haircut was retarded. His clothes fucking were stupid. And 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 the TV remake. Shut up. You want to you wanna get the, the scary stuff out of your head? Don't fucking read pages in a book. Go look at a fucking Playboy, you little turd. I hated that fucking kid. Every time that kid showed up, I fucking wanted to just push him down. In a tub full of water. The original was, was he annoying. fine, but in the remake, and Joey, you'll have to help me on this, which Hellraiser <coughs> was that little twat in? I believe it was number four or five. I can't remember. But that little twat was in one of the Hellraiser movies. He was a fucking asshole. And he's annoying. That's the biggest thing. Good, you can count. whoop de doo dosh Count the number of ways I fucking hate you. <laughs> number two doesn't even need any names. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sorry. <laughs> you gonna blow snot? If my nose could come out of the mask without looking fucked up, I would let the snot run down and into my <laughs> mouth, okay? Nasty ass bitch. That was a great fucking movie. And she wasn't uh, told to act that way. That was all her. That was her decision. So what? It's a great movie. So no one can blame it. Oh, well, the director... No, the director did not tell her to do it. No. Blair Witch Project was a great, innovative movie. The way they filmed it was amazing. The way they marketed it was amazing. The acting was amazing. That those That, that whole movie damn near was improv. That's that a whole great movie, movie was... Fighting over a fucking map. Because the guy kicked it in the river. But an hour and a half of fucking... I'm fighting over a fucking map. The only good thing about that is, is the creepy end part. Tori Jones, please remake this and give it something good. <laughs> Add Dale, Dale Miller, man. That'll oh, give it something oh good. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> that had to come up in some video somewhere. <laughs> I love you, Dale Yeah, Yeah, they're fighting over a map. You, you fight with the GPS when we're going to a convention. Actually, it's me that fights with the GPS, so never mind. My, uh, where do we on? Number two? Yep. My number two, Lori Campbell. Jason versus Freddy. She's the dumb fucking bitch that says, Jason's afraid of water. Freddy's playing fire. How can we use this? Dumbass. 
Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. Exactly. Dumb I hate bitch. her. I hate her just for that fucking line alone. This is the most negative video of all time that we have ever done, and I fucking hate that fucking bitch <laughs> just for that fucking line alone. That Jason's not afraid of fucking fire. Jason's not afraid of water, you dumb fuck. Freddy's not afraid of fire, you dumb fuck. How are you going to use it? You're not. You're going to fucking die. <sighs> Woosa. Woosa. Okay. So, I want to do... We have... Well, I have and two honorable mentions. I, I want to do them well. together because they're both from the same movie. Okay, I'm curious about this. The one. least horrible one, Wendy Richards. Wendy Richards. She was a fucking bitch throughout the whole entire movie. Stuck up, fucking mean girl cunt. Who are you talking about? Who's what is she? Let Let me do the other character and then you'll know. The other character, Kimberly Hammond, for that fucking dance. That fucking dance. Oh, good lord. Friday night, everything is all right, and those fucking faces that you're making? Come on, man. <laughs> Didn't your mommy ever tell you if you make faces like that, it's going to stick that way? People people make faces when they dance and when they sing and stuff like that. Not they, faces like that. No, they yeah, do sure not. They, no, they do not. Sure they no, do. No, they do not. Sure No, they, they do not. No, they do not. Prom Night is a fucking great movie, too. Who was Wendy mm. Richards in that movie? The one in the red dress that her and her boy, her boyfriend and her go in and because she's looking at her man because Jamie Lee Curtis got her man. They're just standing there. Like it is, like, mm, all macho and shit. Like, fuck you people. Fuck you people. Sheesh. Fuck you. See, I told you this is a negative fucking video. <coughs> all right, right, so. Up my alley. I have, I have two honorable mentions as well. The first of the two is Ned from Happy Hell Night. Yeah, the dude with the fucking little mole thing over here. That dude was so fucking annoying. I, it, it just, I, I haven't seen the movie and I don't know how long. But he, I don't even know what he does in the movie. But he has pissed me off so much with his annoying antics that it's it's ingrained in my head. Ned, Ned, Ned from Happy Hell Night. Ned! <laughs> <laughs> the other honorable mention I have is Barney from Evil Laugh. That guy, I never thought I would hate a guy that is a horror fan. Like, I hate him. That dude is very knowledgeable about horror movies, but he is the biggest fucking pussy on two legs. Which one was Barney? He was the pussy. He was one, oh, guys, come on, we don't go down in the basement. This is how horror movies go. Because Evil Laugh's one of my favorite he's the one, He's the one guy that le that lived. The girl lived, Was he and the he heavy lived. set guy? Yeah, no, yeah, well, kind of. With the curly hair? And yeah. It's like, okay, I know who the pansy is. All yeah, right. he was the one reading Fangoria magazine. God, he was such a fucking wimp. I mean, shit, he put horror fans to shame with that performance. Yep. With that... that Horror fans should be the ones saving people in the horror movie, going, uh-uh, go over here instead. But no, this guy was a fucking wuss, and he just gives us all a bad name. Fuck you, Barney. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing my number one correctly for both the first name and the last name. Krug <laughs> Stillo. <laughs> All I have to do is say, last house on the left. Pick your poison. <laughs> well, my number one is Krug from Last House on the Left. That motherfucker. And I, I'm just going with the original one. Mm -hmm. I'm not going with the remake because I don't remember enough about the remake to know if how much of an asshole he was. I know he was mm -hmm. an ass, but I don't remember how much. And mm -hmm. and it's got her Garrett, uh, whatever his last name mm -hmm. is in it. So I got to be nice there. 
But Krug, I mean, my God, he makes the girl piss her pants. He carves, he cuts his name into her chest. He rapes her. He shoots her. He tries to kill her family. There's not a more despicable motherfucker in any horror movie of a, the people in Hostel or like kindergartners watching Romper Room compared to this fucking guy. Romper Room was a good show. Krug is the nastiest, most despicable, hated person I can I can think of in any horror movie. He beats the shit out of the, the goofs from... Uh, uh, I spit on your grave. He's worse than them. Mm -hmm. He's worse than the hills have eyes, people, Pluto included. If you, <laughs> he's worse than, God, he's worse than most real life serial killers, for fuck's sake. That dude's a fucking asshole in a head. He's like three or four assholes all wrapped up into one, and he laughs as he's doing it all. I'm sorry, David has to sing into that great song, that uh, After the Rain song. Beautiful song. That doesn't even clear him even a little bit, because nope. he was a fucking asshole. Yep. And I'm shocked that we actually hit a couple of these pretty close. Cooper and Krug? or Kru Yeah, Krug. That's crazy. I said I probably pronounced it all fucked up. No, you said it right. Cool. But... What do you guys think? Did we hit the nail on the head with these, or is there someone that you think is a bigger asshole and someone that you hate even more than the listed people that we have? Down in the comments below, tell us about it. We'd love to hear. Uh, our last video, we had some great comments about other characters that are sympathetic, like Evil Ed from Fright Night and uh, Seth Brundle. Seth Brundle? Seth Brundle from The Fly. And Night and, of the Creeps. And TJ from Night of the Creeps. Those are some great ones we didn't even think about. So if you've got someone that you think is even more despicable and more hated. I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, let us know. Hope you liked the video. Check us out on a more regular basis by subscribing to the channel. Let your friends know about it. Send them this way. We'll make a list about them next. Stay spooky. Stay spooky together now. Stay spooky. I like it spooky. I, uh, I want to thank you. Anything you want, you, you just name it. <laughs> what? <laughs> we all need to do that. Let's all take a moment and go. <laughs>